All right, here we are. You've come to the shop. You've picked up some materials. Um, here I have a block of clay, much like you'll have. You'll get a board from the shop if you need a board to take home with you. You can pretty much work anywhere at home where you can put this board and have this block of clay. You notice sometimes these blocks of clays look like they have some mold in them. It's actually a good thing. Don't worry about it. Um, not a big deal. I like to drop the clay on its edges to start to get it moving a little bit. Then I'm going to stand it upright. I'm going to take this twist tie off. We're just making um, hands-on assignment 1A. We're making some slabs that we're going to cut shapes out of. So we need some big, thick slabs. So I'm going to go a really generous, a little bit more, almost four fingers, but a little more than three fingers. I'm going to make a little mark. Um, told you you need a piece of string. This is a pretty thick string, so it will pull through there, but it's going to be a little stubborn. So there I've got a really nice chunk of clay. Remember, a thinner string will will do. We'll cut it kind of cleaner, like a fishing line or something. Dental floss will work in a pinch, but it likes to break. So when making a slab, what you want to be sure of is that the middle of your clay is a little bit thinner than the extremities, all right, than the, the outside. If the middle is not thinner, then when you go to stretch this, the, the edges are going to be super thin. And we don't want that because we want a nice, consistently thick slab, all right? All right, so then I'm going to throw this a little bit at an angle and it will start to stretch. If I throw it straight down, it's not going to stretch. So I want to throw it a little bit at an angle. Now, I want to be careful not to go too far. I also want to be careful to move around my board a little bit. You notice that spot on the board that's getting wet, the clay will want to stick there. Sometimes I'll even flip the board over. All right, so from the tip of my pinky to that first knuckle is an inch. So I'm not quite at an inch yet, all right? So I want to keep throwing this out a little bit more. Nice and slow, not in a hurry. Now we're getting really probably just a little bit less thick than an inch. So I'm gonna kind of push in my edges here. My edges have started to get a little bit thin. I'm gonna kind of push in my edges. And I think that's a pretty good looking slab. What I would want to do now is if I'm not going to be around to kind of babysit this in terms of drying is I would want to wrap it up in plastic.